to Birdie Boots and welcome to the Beginner's Guide. Now, I know very little about this, I know I say that about a lot of games, but um, I really don't know much about this. I know it takes about an hour and a half to get through, so feel free to go get a cup of Hi tea. There. Thank you very much for playing the Beginner's Guide. My name is Davey Reedon, I wrote The Stanley Parable, and while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. Whoa. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. What? But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of <sighs> course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like makes a sense. reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, okay. not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Okay. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Awesome. So, Sweet. It's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he huh. never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. And I think okay. he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. <laughs> so, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Right. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, yeah. that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. He talks a so lot. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it oh. for introduction. Jeez, Let's take okay. a look at Coda's first proper game. As each right. game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Okay. I mean, wow, what an intro. I didn't even get to say anything. Right. I was going to say, go grab a cup of tea. And uh, that I know it tells a story. But uh, clearly, <laughs> we know that now, don't we? Uh... I hate you, dude! That was this game terrifying. is called Escape from Whisper. And it's one of the more <laughs> generic games you'll see from Coda. Okay. Follow the light. Uh, I mean, Coda didn't really know what to do with floating rocks, unless that was his style, but okay. You can click to fire the gun. Oh. But it doesn't work. Oh. Okay. Got it. Okay. Do I get to shoot anybody? No? Who do I get to shoot? I'm not an alien. I'm a good boy. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. Mid? For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. This you is can't weird. even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. Do I run out? But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually huh. it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Well, I mean, it's kind of just a box right now. I don't mean to be a judgmental asshole. I, I genuinely don't. 
Um, I know this is just a re like a recreation, but you know, I, love I mean, how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Whoa, that's cool. All right, I like that. That's trippy. Mad props. Okay, now what? Now what? Do I not get to do anything here? This is very noisy. Oh, Star Trek doors. Should have figured that out, shouldn't I? Corridor? Oh, only corridor. Okay, I mean... Apparently the space station has a labyrinth on it. Yeah, apparently. I, uh, sure, I don't know. There's really <laughs> no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. No! Oh. But I liked it. Okay, Fine. this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay. Gotcha. So the whisper machine hey, has to be turned you off. you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give your... Yes. Phone? Completely. I will wreck it. Let me get that. Let me pause here for a second. Oh. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this yeah. is what happens instead. Oh. Damn it, Coda! Oh. Huh? Right. Huh! Whoa! Oh, wow. I know it's not intended, but holy the shit, that is cool. The beam causes you to start floating. Huh? And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this yeah. floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed a against all of the hysteria that you've could just had to glitch. traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but... What's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. I bet it's gonna be so trippy. It's gonna be weird, isn't it? Ooh, bricks. The past was behind her, okay. Yep. Oh. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. Okay. Let's just back on up then. Beep. Beep. Where? So it's but a short and relatively seen. minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. That's the game? It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be Why more focused, more keep complete. Keep changing. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Anything else? Trying to read stuff. No. Oh. Oh, that's different. There's a room over here. Let me just back on up. Beep. Beep. Oh, oh. When she stops and looks, it becomes clearer. Oh. Maybe I should just walk backwards for the rest of my life. I feel like I'm really getting somewhere with this. I feel like I'm having an epiphany right now. But if the future is always behind her... How will she find the strength, let me guess, to move forward? To confront it. Damn it. It's a short little thought. It says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't Fair need enough. anything more than that. Which, to me, is why it works. Because it gets out quick. True. Okay, next one. I mean, it took a minute, so... Coda makes a lot of games. Like, for all of me, like, shitting on this, being like, Oh, it's just a box. It's more than I could ever do. This sucks. This makes me feel awful. You are now entering the Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. I don't, I've never even watched a Twilight Zone. I think I got that from a movie. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't what? be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Don't call that a game. That wasn't a game. 
I don't know. Is everyone hating me for saying Oftentimes, that? Oftentimes, Koda would put I... bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Ah. Okay. I wish right. I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. I'm still looking back. He would back really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? That's what I'm, that's what I'm like with my music, though. Like, as soon as I've recorded an EP, like, that stuff is, is done. To me, it's completely done. Whoa, Once you've I can't been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Coda's not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press the Use key on your gamepad, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Huh. Thanks. Ooh. Plays a pair of floating- Ah! What the heck? Game filled with chairs, except one chair is floating. Live in a boat, taking orders from the captain. A room the that's warm wrong. and nice and filled with little ideas for games. What? A game where you have to scream to like every 15 seconds to keep playing. Ah, oh, Felix. Coda would often tell me that he didn't that mind if you. people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. You are a gate. Yes, I am. I am a gate. You run a shop inside your own body, selling your organs strategically to make the most money before you die. They're actually pretty good ideas, to be fair. Like, for all the mocking I'm doing, they're better than most games these days. Okay, I'm ready. Let me walk. Woo. Okie dokie. It's a labyrinth very similar to the other one. No, it's not. It was gonna be. I'm sure it was. Okay. Let's keep wandering on through. Ooh. It's well, a Minecraft switch. Coda. It's an actual <laughs> puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Door. Did it. Hello. Nothing. Anything around here? No. Okay. Don't forget that solution because I'm we're going genius. to see this puzzle again soon. <laughs> we're gonna see it a lot. Oh, don't say that. Okay. Well, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad that didn't take two hours. Let's keep on rocking. This is nice. This is quite cute. I like the lighting and stuff. It's designed very well. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Ta-da! Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press the use key on your gamepad, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay. Do it! Whoa! So there was more than... What? He had more behind about it? about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. Yeah. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. This is Either so way, odd. I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. Wow. So if your role here is not to understand, and he never showed then these what is it? So he just did it for himself, right? That's oh boy. You are now entering the DMZ. Oh, you are now uh -huh. exiting. So Ooh. this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Makes sense. Sorry that I yawned, by the way. I'm really, really exhausted today. It's not trying to reflect on how I feel about the game. Okay? I'm not trying to shut on the game. Ooh! 
That's nice looking. Hey, he's getting better at developing stuff. He's getting better at designing things. I have an itchy boob today. You didn't Let's talk about that. video game development for a second. <laughs> Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which yep. determines what the game can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Makes sense. Okay. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all that. engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just Fair because enough. he's working with what the engine does well. Ah. Well, holy crap. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider yeah. paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games uh, to notice sorry. how they seem to stem from an engine that's I very didn't mean good to at producing uh, linear boxy corridors. Whoa. I mean, jeez. It kind of looks like when you get annoyed with Microsoft Paint and you're just like, fine, I'll do lots of squiggly things. I kind of feel like he did that. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just an ignorant asshole. Let's just go down the stairs. Interesting, though. This makes me feel like I should start making games. I feel like a lot of people probably have that thought. Can I not see what... No? Uh, okay. Alright, fine. Fine. I feel like a lot of people play this and then go, I want to be a game developer. Because there's just so much you can do with it. I never really thought about it before. What was that? Hello? Who is here? What's with all these gates? Oh, you can enter the... Oh no, why? Why? I didn't mean to do that. What are you doing? Stop. I didn't want to do that. I didn't... I didn't have that in mind. Okay. Okay. This prison, funny enough, uh. in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Oh, if you don't crap. mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Yeah. Maybe that's a good idea. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable. Whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was <laughs> full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Huh. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. What a sarcastic dick. I love him. <laughs> I love anyone that's sarcastic enough to send a zip file full of Fine! You want it playable? You have playable! He is a hero to me. I can learn a lot from his sarcasm. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Ooh. What's with these three circles everywhere? I keep seeing those. Why? Is that like... He's, he's it's the puzzle like again. Or with the exact same solution as the last time. Sounds fine to me. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Non moving sky. This is nice. The, this this actual game, not not this game. You know what? Everything is nice. Everything is wonderful and everything is super pretty. Now can you stop shitting on me? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. What? Why? Ah, you there? Did you come from a Here, club? Coda begins what was using up there? a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out oh, of the geez. engine's chat capabilities. Use the buttons on your gamepad to respond. Okay. It was an enormous prison I spent hours in. That's the world above. You've been there. This is important. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. 
again, perfect. Now please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get on the other side. Oh, I can't actually tell them. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. Oh no, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? This is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there's nothing I want more. Okay. No? Do I not get to let them go? Jeez. That's rough. Oh boy, there's more of them. Oh, what? 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 How did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? No, I've been right here this entire time. I suggest you go see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the blank space in the middle. Who are you? Just go and hang out there in that blackness for a bit. You may not like it at first, but it will grow on you, eventually. Yikes. This is rough. <laughs> oh. I'm getting these like really weird feelings doing this for some reason. And like, so we I'm make one last descent down to the final weird. floor of the level. Okay. Are there going to be more people? Is there going to be a jump scare? What's it going to be? It's not going to be another one of those doors, is it? No. It looks like we're out on the street. This isn't a prison. Oh, it literally is a prison. I think. It's a lamppost. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Okay. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now right. he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference A lamppost. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, the which lamppost. is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. Okay. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Ooh. Next game. Next, please. Ooh, fading. It's so clever how this guy has taken Coda's like engine and just explore the game this game is connected to the internet as you walk around you can leave notes oh boy all notes you see are left by other players there aren't gonna be any other okay there are nice room not oh boy here we go so first off I'm sure you can deduce this but this How game is this not game? connected to the internet yeah, All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. Yeah. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This Point was shortly this. after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him Whoa. working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything Whoa, that anyone else was shit. doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it, and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see Maybe. this person who's filled with <laughs> thoughts and feelings and beliefs, and has no way to express them, except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Balls. Everybody loves balls. How is that wood and grass But it's and ironic, concrete? isn't it? This is so that cool. In playing this game and seeing how alone Coda mm. often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. This is so weird and great. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Whoa. 
Oh, jeez. Okay. I feel like maybe these are all bits of feedback that he's had or something, like in the past. Or maybe that's just... They're just his thoughts in his head about his own game, like he's criticizing himself, but acting as though it's other people, maybe. What the shit is this cavern? You know? Like, I don't feel like he's just impersonating people. I feel like this is him giving his own feedback, maybe. There's an acorn somewhere in here. I doubt it. This is just so... Just looking for someone to talk with. This is definitely loneliness as well. Man. I refuse to believe. I'm not gonna go through all of these, don't worry. But ass butt. It's pretty deep. I need to go to the freaking bathroom. Say him, actually. Recognize me, please. Notice me, senpai! There's nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> it would be great if this actually was, like, filled with notes from people on the internet. But obviously, a game would probably... A game like that would get so popular that, like, the, the floor would be covered in these, right? Door doesn't open. Okay. Someday I'll meet the person who made this. Oh, that, that sound. That's weird. Oh, new room. Do you hear the chimes? They keep you going, don't they? It's not very crowded here. You can go in here, I think. Eh, don't bother. This is where I get off. I failed to write anything here. This is very... Turn back. Proceeding further will only result in misery. Holy jeez, okay. Take my hand, let's jump together. Let's do it. Ah, oh, we're not able to! You troll! I got trolled by Coda. Damn it. Okay. This goes on for a long time. Don't talk about me that way. Um, this is- it's like a forum. This is- I need someone to talk to. Is this a note? This is a note. Don't listen to the other notes. These are all thoughts in his head, I'm sure of it. I'm not safe. But he had to sit down and write all of these, which makes you think he well, he had to come up with them. So how did he come up with them? Why did he come up with them? You know? Painting, what does it mean? Whoever made this has issues. See, like, things like that. That's odd to me. Who are all of you? We will all die someday. Stop pretending you are other people. There! There you go! Stop pretending you're other people. He's talking to himself. Devil Tower Star. He's talking to himself. This is... He was himself the most horrible creature he could imagine. Oh, dude. I really hope this guy is okay. Why did he stop creating games? His terrible secret, he kept it well. I beat the game! <laughs> this is really making me feel strange. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, okay. I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his Noises. life before moving on to the next one. People are whispering. People are whispering now. Ah! Uh, don't worry, I'm not getting any ASMR from that. This is so... Oh, I really hate people whispering. In each whispering. of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Yeah, like the puzzle is for himself, isn't it? It's for himself. How do you solve it? And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. This makes me feel really weird. There's just one in this entire hallway. That's a yucky noise. I don't like that noise. How do you leave notes? Ah! 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 Lamppost! I'm at the lamppost. Are you there? 
Please say something. Give me anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Speak. 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 Wow. Huh. Porn stars okay, this die one is too. Tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. I will hang with it. It's a nice building. That was very odd. That whole thing was very odd. Why is this called Porn Stars Die 2? What's gonna happen? Okay. I'm guessing this was also built in Source. This is cool though. I'm really enjoying this whole story. I recognize that gravel. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just that's walk it? to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay. okay cool. Here's version two. Okay. This looks even weirder. Hmm. Pull furniture all to go in the center of the room. Oh, we get to choose stuff. Put a giant hole in the ground. That wasn't a giant hole. That's a table. About along the wall of the room. Let's put... I... Huh. Ten stoves. What? I don't get a choice, is that... Gotcha. Right. Okay, fine. You know what? A skylight. There. Nothing. Just a lamp. And a table. You need a table. We have a table. None of my choices are making any difference. Yikes. This is like a bigger uh, story than- There's a bit than... more to this ah! one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. No, it's- it's about... So, okay, he you... throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. You're not able to make your own choices in life. That's what that is. It's that nothing that you do in your life matters. It doesn't change anything about the world. This guide will enable you to take care that you remember each step. Let's click on this table. Photo frame. Floor lamp in this room off. And turn it back on. Okay. Left side sofa and move it a little. Touch the shelves. Got it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Those three dots again. It's not like the actual coda sign in music, is it? It's not, is it? I don't think it is. Okay. It's like a memory game, or... And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. That's rough. There's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, yeah. and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink Whoa. you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful I like to, this. to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. Okay, And he likes Good. it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. Good. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Right. But then it's not a prison game, is it? Or maybe I'm just being facetious, as always? Okay. Well, I'm glad he sort of got out of that loop that he was in. You know, you get fixated on an idea and you think, I can make that better and... 
<sighs> this is very odd. I feel like the guy has gone through a lot, and I feel like games were his way of communicating that, maybe just with himself. You know, some people write, some people paint, some people make games. Now I can't do anything. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Oh boy. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yes. Uh. It's a conversation. <sighs> and so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. That's where I'm but right the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You get out eventually. You know, like all escape. of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. I feel like the prisons may be about depression in a way. You know, maybe. I, I don't. I don't know. Because it feels like he's talking to himself in the past. I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. It actually does change. That's so nice to hear. That makes me feel really happy. I'm still me, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. If you're me, then how did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Okay. I think I'm the first person to call back. Can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? Oh boy. See, this is not, this is a metaphorical prison. Of course it is. That will free me? How does that work? See, we know that we're talking about a metaphorical prison, but the other person seems to think it's a physical prison. Okay. Just tell me how you feel. I feel afraid that nothing will ever change. Okay. <laughs> Go on. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all Jeez. of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, for sure. I guess so. It's been like nearly a year since he started. So what would it games, look like right? if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? <sighs> that would make a change, I guess. He's really To me this environment is meant bit. to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Yeah, I think maybe you're right on that. Huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself. And right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows, lo everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. I like that he's changed the text stuff. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, yeah, including definitely. this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Okay. Would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? Yes. Yes, I will. That's the bathroom. Okay. Done. Now what? Why don't you straighten out the rug a little bit? There's actually something quite nice about this. I quite like it. How'd you end up doing this job? A friend dragged me along at a time when I was particularly desperate for cash. Since I've never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did I feel like cleaning my own home. I might have got some demons I ain't read in the face yet. Well, speaking of de demons, someone's put this couch all in the mess. Would you come out and straighten these pillows here? I sure will! Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. There you go, buddy! I am maid of the year. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Oh, 
Did I annoy you? No. <laughs> no, it was stupid, sorry. Never mind. No! Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Okay. There you go. There you go, bud. It's all gonna be okay, bud. It's all gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Alright. Clean the tub. There we go. Did a good job. I'm doing all of his work. There's still books out on the floor of the bedroom. Sure will. I like the music, too. The music's nice. You can clear these dishes off the table. After the intense set of prison games, Wait. this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it, otherwise it owns you. He's talking about his games. Present. I know that Koda really liked this game. The in the bedroom. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. He just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Good. Earlier when I said I had a really... Ooh, I have no reflection. I am a vampire. This ha The one's house is not like one's soul. You take care of it and it takes care of you. He seems happy. This is nice. There's a bit of truth in it, no? Anyway. So. Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books. Would you please clean up the books? I feel like he's... He's fixed something in his life that made him feel terrible, and now perhaps he's getting everything in order. I'm it's glad he like, this. I'm glad he yeah. found some peace. It's like a bit of heaven and all this mass of hell, you know? This is nice. It's the music as well. It's like he's found but, of peace. Of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I was enjoying that. I really was. I wouldn't mind going back to that. I thought that was cool. Huh, okay. Hmm. If he was happy at a time he made this, and I'm hoping it's good up here. I don't know. Yay! Lamppost! It's the end of the Which game! Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Mm-hmm. I really thought that was the point of it. Okay. I this think one gets a bit only goofy. Prices. They're all a bit goofy. Hmm. Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? No one else around here? No? Okay. You came here to be perfect. This workshop is gonna teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends- Oh, I moved places! Jeez. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know that is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself, compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. This is very odd. And the question is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly. This is easy. It is so easy. It is so About easy. halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Being perfect is effortless. Oh, Christ. Okay. This is the key. You play How do I as the teacher. It with no effort? And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. I'm just gonna choose all the horrible things. Thank goodness. Wow, what the hell? This is awful. Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. There is no truth, there is no path. Ha 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 ha, just kidding. 
the screaming and terror. This is awful. Holy shit. You guys, something is coming out the back of the room. Look out. Everyone run. Run. I felt pretty hard for this one. Oh. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. Just pretending to be perfect. Whew! This is getting a... Uh, this is getting a bit odd. I'm this really enjoying this. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's okay. twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Sometimes people gotta take breaks, you know? Maybe he just wanted to chill out. Actually, it does look like it's got more detail. There's a lot more textures in this. So shush, narrator guy. What do you know? Can I go up the ladder? No. I'm too used to RPGs where you can just go up ladders. Okay. Stage. Oh boy. Didn't scare me. Didn't scare me at all. <laughs> In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are, to we are at a gathering of professionals. But I shall start out leaning against this woman. Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. It's your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Wise, happy, focused, successful. Doesn't say anything on top of her head. Hello? Hello? That's it? That is not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Okay? Okay. Um. Here are all my hopes and dreams. No, 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 that's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. The cones... These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Boing. Whoa! Doink. 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 Doink, 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 doink. I'm having fun now. Okay. Uh, you must have worked really hard to get where you are. You're messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? Doink. I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Doink, 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 doink. Hmm, I want to try something. Doink. Try stepping back from- No! Oh, I was enjoying that. Oh, is that the end already? Are you kidding? That can't be it. Is that it? Let's just keep stepping back. Okay. 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 Right. That's one way to get fired from drama class, right? That's one way of being told that, you know what, you just can't act. This is working. The game ends this with this eerie premonition like. of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to yeah. hide himself away. Which is what leads feeling. to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looks to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect yeah. with this person. To bring him closer. He's just admitting how he but feels. But what can you do? After this, 
Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Wow. I don't, I really don't know what to, this room probably, you must keep your eyes closed. Oh. Help, I'm blind. Okay. I don't know if I should close my eyes or not. I'm just not gonna close my eyes. Research. Blind. Ah! There's a door! No! No! Am I gonna be killed by a giant door? What? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. There is? Okay. Truth. The only way to stop it is to speak something honest. I can't keep making these. Holy shit. It's draining me. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that been coming honest. from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but I'm he alone. literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just wow. deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Christ. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His game is going to get just... more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. You only just figured out that maybe he's not feeling too great? Really? Okay. Hello, where am I? What is this? Ooh. This is pretty. Where did this island come from? This is, this is nice. Music's gone a bit. Is it a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. Oh, I mean, a little bit. Um, when I try to create, I feel empty. It's like the world's becoming clearer to him now that he's being honest. What happened? Did something change? It was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. Wow. This is... I don't know how to feel about this. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Where is it? You have to... Oh, what? I pressed the wrong one. Okay. I can take you to it, but if there is the a problem. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, Don't tell me it's that this one puzzle. turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. Yeah. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? I knew it. Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. This is very odd. Now just press the switch here. This puzzle you can't means something can't talk more. yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. That's all the answers I gave.
Trust me, you will see. There's horrible noises. You have to say the game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Okay, making games is simple. Okay. Why did it feel so awful when I said that? Don't worry about it, just keep talking. This crying is really creeping me out. Keep saying that creation is easy. It is easy, it never stops being easy. Oh boy, it's got things from the other games. Seeing this game at it's the time me. that he made it, it looked really oh, unhealthy. To floating me. colored blocks. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like video games leave? are not no. worth this amount of suffering. Oh my goodness. This is someone I really this cared is from about. All of his other games. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this I was, in the escape was the worst me. thing for me. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is very odd. Know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I, I wanted it to my stop work. more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. Don't tell I just, me. I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. That's incredible. That's incredible. But Jesus. it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes so up with linked. a new game. Oh, man. 2011. The machine. The machine! Which is what he was talking about. The machine that kept him going that suddenly stopped. Ma'am, I'm glad, I'm glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be brutal. Very good. Let's be warned that someone called the press. So we might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. I am the machine. My goodness. What the heck? When will we get answers? What will be done with the machine? How did you capture the machine? What can you tell us? Nothing. This is the machine. And of course, you it's stop. the machine. You stopped feeding us. It's only because of your creations that any of us can make it through every day. We need to go out there. Whew. Okay. Carefully, I know how to hurt you. I've seen the thing you fear. All right, then, I will speak to them for you. This is very odd. Don't it's going to stop right here, isn't it? My friends, I have a troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. But we will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us pay it retribution. Follow me, we will destroy the machine. This is just... Oh boy. <sighs> this guy, or girl, whatever Coda's gender was, is a genius. Remember, you can click to fire the gun. I just did. Oh wait, no. <gasps> Oh, 
Oh my god. Seriously? Coda. I'll make sure your work dies here. It's not what you're scared of? Having to live without your precious creations? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. Maybe. And so, oh, as I'm boy. thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? it if he like could see nice the idea. difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would Maybe. it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring did meaning it back into his work? Well, did it work? Oh, this is just roughing me up now. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cool. cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Okay. Freaking machine. Do I get to shoot it? Can I shoot the machine? Put down your weapon. Why should I? Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Yes. Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need. To be told that my work is good. That I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. Jeez. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It yeah, made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Where are we going now? Um... So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and mm -hmm. I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Okay. So let's take a look. Okay. Last game, dudes! Let's see what Coda has in store for us now. I feel terrible for saying that they weren't games at the beginning. I really do feel quite bad about that. And now. this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. There's it's a no very light cold beaming game. down. This is pretty rough. Like, what does it symbolize, you know? That he's locked himself in a tower, maybe? He feels as though... I don't this room know. actually has a maze in it. That's good. Right? Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But 
I do want to show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press the use key on your gamepad, and I'll put yeah. a bridge over the maze. Thanks. Appreciate that. Someone must have sat there and figured it all out, right? But I can't stand those flashes. And I guess that's what was intended. So I guess now we're supposed to presume that we've spent And to be fair, it's not time. like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. Oh, really? I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe it symbolizes, like, a way out, but there are all these things that you can't see in front of you that hold you back. That's what I would... The only way past this mm. challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Ah, oh, thanks. Well, you think of how long that would take for someone to... to go through. Okay, 151. Oh, God damn it. Six. One. Oh my goodness! I'm no good at this sort of thing. Pressing buttons. I'm not good at pressing buttons. Five, one, six, one, seven. Okay. On the stairs. Oh man. Whew, I'm getting some weird feelings in this. But why are there so many things stopping us from going further? What is he? He's trying to hide here. Is he trying to hide anything? The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, right? the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. Mm. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix no, the not, problem. It's not your fault. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. It's not your fault at all. The fact that he designed it Was that I a way. Failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. I remember. Oh, no. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself. I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Yeah. And he wouldn't. It is odd. It is very odd. I don't know what those dots mean either. This is a very eerie game in that... Why are there pink lights in a castle? Oh no, that's not like the deepest thought I could have during this game. I just game. felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. You didn't fail him, But though. he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. 
he isn't a puzzle, you know? He's not... He's not a game in himself. You didn't have to try and solve him. He needed... Where did I screw up? He needed to solve himself. He didn't screw up. If anything, you were the only one who tried. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Holy Jesus. So I guess... Because he told other people? Huh. That's... I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. I wonder at times whether you think I'm making these games for you. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Shouldn't have ever done it to fulfill yourself, though. It's not about... If there was an answer, a meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe? Jeez. Would you stop changing my games, stop adding lampposts to them? You added the lampposts? But you said he added them. And then you stopped, what they are. and I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. I can't Less imagine than how horrible it would feel to know that this... What does that mean? You desperately need something. Answers. He needs a way of making himself feel happy. Struggling to come up with new ideas does not make me depressed. Low points are just part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. That's deflective. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine, you're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks and you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. So you make this game? Showing everyone? Oh man, I don't know how I feel about that. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for I sharing your games. Up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, 
Okay. Start making games Good. again. Please help Chill. me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. Ah. I want to know how to, how to I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. We're closing I'm in. I'm fading. I didn't even realize. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. But Davy, he's not your way to feel okay. Is that okay? Epilogue. David, did you make this? I guess he must have done, right? Jeez. See, I don't know how I feel about all this. I mean, I'm presuming this is a real story. I don't more, know. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Believe me, I know that feel. Just wanting to hear that you've done a good thing. And then you get used to that feeling and you get addicted to it. You get used to hearing that you've done good and when you don't hear it for a while, you think, do people still think that I've done good? Solution. You know? Solution. Solution. Jeez, I mean, I, I'm, I'm genuinely speechless. I don't. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. Maybe. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. <sighs> you tried doing the right thing, you know, but. I don't know, there's only so much you can do before you end up making things worse, I guess. Some people don't want to be saved. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Well, I mean, yeah, but that's true with anything. People are always quick to judge. You're not a shitty person, Davy. And neither is Coda. Now. Now we're. This is odd. This is very odd. <laughs> this kind of feels like 2001 A Space Odyssey at the end, where like the whole film makes sense, and then at the end it's kind of like, oh! Nope! It's gonna be tripping balls for 20 minutes. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. A world without praise? You need to do what makes you happy, not what makes others happy. It's nice getting external praise, but at the end of the day, that's kind of meaningless and shallow too. The claps always fade out, you know? I what know. now? Maybe games just made Coda happy. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because... I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for, and so I'm just gonna... Okay. Don't blame yourself. People make what they perceive to be mistakes all the time. I'm sure code is fine. I guess I don't know. But what is that great big crack in the middle of that? 
Okay. Okay, it's as though you've become Coda. What if you are Coda? What if Coda's in your mind? Sorry, I've watched too many Hollywood movies, clearly. You know. You are Bruce Willis. I don't know. Is that a hole I can jump down? To symbolize just hiding away from everything, or what? Okay. This is very Stanley Parable-esque. I know he made it, but I just mean like the slow floor lifting up. By the way, those of you guys asked me to play Stanley Parable, I have already played it. I do know the endings. I've spoiled it for myself. Ages and ages ago, like a year ago, maybe two years ago. So I don't know if I'll ever play it on here. I'm not sure. Is he actually gone now? The narrator is actually gone? I guess this is where we're supposed to give our thoughts or, or just think about how we feel about the game. Like, I... This is just one massive open letter to someone and... I guess he had no other way of communicating that with Coda than to just make something... Now that's just cheeky. We're gonna float, aren't we? We're gonna float with the beam, or we're just gonna freeze up and die. Maybe if we don't float, it's like closing the never ending cycle, like ripping up Max's photo in Life is Strange. Or maybe if we float, it's as though he's taking on Coda's burdens. I don't know. I did pretty good at English at school. All we had to do all the time was, what's the meaning behind this? Does it mean anything? Does this mean anything? Does it symbolize anything but maybe friendship, as if to say, I share your thoughts, I understand. We have things in common? I guess we're gonna find out. That's what I thought would happen. That's what I thought. Wow. Okay. Didn't think it would be a maze, though. Holy Jesus. Whoa. That is making my eyes go funny, man. Imagine just being in a world where... Physically in a world where you just spend all of eternity running through a labyrinth and it just goes on and on and even when you think you've got somewhere you haven't is that what this is symbolizing or really this is how davy feels but there's always a start point on it. But the that was a, a, a journey. Miles and miles and miles. I have chills, you know. I, oh. and you are so That's good. Tired. I really enjoyed that. But I, know that you're strong. I don't know what happened to Coda. In fact, so I think I'm gonna quickly find out while the credits are rolling. Turn back. If anything else is gonna happen. The beginner's guide. Coda. People keep saying, does Coda exist? People are wondering 
if he's real and a lot of people were saying no it, it's just especially when he said will you stop putting lamp posts in my in my games it kind of hits you then that suddenly oh oh i don't uh -huh. <laughs> that was a really good game and i'm glad i played it and i hope you guys enjoyed it but um I'm going to go and have some long, deep thoughts to myself now. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then, uh, then give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Give me some of that external validation. And uh, subscribe to Join the Nest if you haven't already. They're not all long, emotional walking simulators. This one just happened to be one of many. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever the hell I feel like playing. Catch you later. Bye! I can't even do it quickly now. I'm so... Whew, chills. Bye, guys.